Colby here with KP Landscaping and Lawn Care. I just got done mowing the neighbor's yard. It's been abandoned since I moved in, and I got tired of looking at it, so I just got done mowing it. There's a bunch of trash that needs to be picked up and everything, but I am posting a video, so if you'd like to check it out, go check out my channel as soon as you get done with Lanier Lawn Care. What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care. As you can tell, I got something new. Today we're gonna to talk about edgers. I'm gonna tell you about my old edger and then we're gonna go over some features of the new edger that I ended up buying and why I bought this specific model. So my last edger was a PE225 with the 21.2 cc engine on it. It's been a great edger all around, but when it comes to, uh, it's a curved shaft edger, when it comes to the power that it has, it just does not have that power to do an overgrown property. Now, it will do an overgrown property. Let me not say that, but it takes forever because it just don't have the power to get through it. So I needed something that was gonna be more power and uh, I got to asking some people on forums and stuff, you know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a straight shaft over over a uh, curved shaft? And I got some real good reasons of why I should get a straight shaft. So I got to looking in the straight shafts and lo and behold, Echo only makes one straight shaft edger. So we ended up purchasing the Echo 266S uh, edger with a 25.4 cc engine on it. And we're gonna go over some differences with both of these models here. I'm gonna uh, go over the weight. Uh, I'll go over the weight here first, but then we're gonna go over, uh, you know, the differences between the two models, which this is gonna be uh, Echo's highest um, brand is gonna be the 280. Uh, and this is just the 266. The 280 has a 28 cc engine. This one only has the 25 cc engine class so uh but this one is a straight shaft the 28 cc is uh 20 dollars different but it is a curved shaft so uh i didn't really want to go with the curved shaft i've got to handle this and see uh you know how i'm going to like it and so far i think i'm going to love it uh <clears throat> i haven't got to use it i haven't even put gas in it and started it yet I just pulled it out of the box. So when you buy this, uh, this actually shipped to me fully assembled. I didn't have to put anything together. Some things you're gonna get in the package here is uh, Echo Always Sands safety glasses with every piece of equipment that you buy. So we got another pair of safety glasses to put. Uh, then, you know, we've got the safety manual for it. And then we also have the operator's manual as well. So that's what you get in the package when you order this. And then of course you get the PE266 and we'll show that to you in a minute. Uh, now, some of the differences between these, once again, is, you know, we went from a 21 cc engine to a 20, or um, yeah, a 25.4 cc engine. The gear ratios are totally different on these two models. The 21 cc gear ratio is gonna be a 1.57 to one gear ratio. The gear ratio on this uh, 266 here is going to be a 2.07 to 1 gear ratio. So quite a few differences. Um, we'll go over the handles in the video. We'll go over the uh, ends. Uh, we'll go over just about anything and everything. So uh, other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I've got to say about both of these that I will not actually cover in 
the video, but uh, I guess we could go over the length and the weight because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to cover that or the fuel capacity, uh, but we'll cover that when we come back from the video. So let's get this video started and go over some features of between the two of these. All right, guys, let's get into this. So first thing you're going to notice is the guards here. This guard on the 225 is closed and therefore it holds a lot of dirt in there. Both of these have the 8 inch blades by the way. Got your bolt there to fill up with grease when you need it. Now the 266S has an open guard therefore after using it I've noticed it does not clog hardly at all. Love it, love it, love it. Also got your bolt here for the uh, filling up with grease. As you can tell, the shaft on the 266 on the right is thicker as well. Now to the handles here, the, the 225 on the left, the handle is just real plasticky. And no matter how tight I tighten that handle, it's always moving. You cannot get it tight enough. Uh, so that's one thing I do not like about it. Now the 266S, the handle, very cushiony and just overall feels excellent in your hands. Moving on to the grips here, you can see the 225 grip, <clears throat> very plasticky, just a hard plastic. 266 has that great, excellent over mode that just feels very soft and cushiony in your hands, very comfortable. It just makes it easy to, uh, you know, appreciate the equipment that you spent the money on. Looking at both of these, you've got the 25.4 cc on the left, 21.2 cc on the right. Let me tell you guys, there's a huge difference in these two. And uh, after using the 266, it's amazing I didn't just invest the money in that to begin with because it's been a total game changer for me on thick overgrown properties. Both of these have the toolless air filter system so you just remove that little orange nut there and pull that off and boom there's your air filter same as the 225 so overall they're both great <clears throat> if you're doing one property the 225 is going to be fine for you if you're doing multiple properties because you uh, own a company then you're going to want to step up your game and get the 266s or the 2620 uh, the 266S is straight shaft. That's what I like about it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that comparison. So when it comes to the length of these trimmers or uh, these edgers, your curved shaft 225 edger here is going to be a 68.6 length uh, inches. And then my straight shaft, this new straight shaft 266 here, is going to be 69.3. So uh, about a half an inch difference there, which is, you know, you can tell side by side. Uh, I think I'm going to like the straight shaft better. It feels a lot better in my hands. But uh, another thing is the weight. Now, the weight of this 225 is 13.2 pounds. The weight of this uh, 266 is going to be 15.2 pounds. So there's two pound difference in these, but you got to think that uh, when you're looking at the guards on these, one's a metal, one's a metal open type. It, you can tell that the, the 266 is built way better than the 225. Now the 225 is uh, what you would consider a homeowner edition edger but all of their equipment they say pros can use now I've been using this so you can definitely use it uh, with your lawn care business but it's going to take a little longer for those overgrown edges if you don't have something better now if I'm uh, going to do a weekly edge on every property I do then the 225 is light plus after my first initial edge on there the 225 is going to have the power to take care of it. Now I just spent all this money on this new one so that's probably not going to happen. Probably going to end up selling this. But uh, fuel capacity on these, 
vary as well. It's only a two ounce difference. So the fuel capacity you get with the 225 is gonna be a 14.9 ounce tank. Fuel capacity you get with the, the uh, 266S is gonna be a 16.9. Now both of these come with eight inch edger blades on them. Um, as you heard in the video, the 225 is closed so it clogs in there. The 266 I haven't got to use yet, but it's completely open. So I got a feeling that my clogging problems are going to go away. Uh, handles on these, totally great. I mean, you know, I pretty much covered everything in this video about them. So uh, guys, I hope you like this video. Um, one thing I probably didn't mention is both of these blades are going to turn counterclockwise, or I'm sorry, clockwise, if you're looking at them from the right hand side uh, where you can see the actual blades, then they're going to turn clockwise for you. But other than that, the, uh, the 266 you can tell is totally thicker, totally better well built, plus it has the great cushion handle on there like all of my other equipment has in the background. So I can't wait to try it out. If you helped me decide on a straight shaft between a straight and a curve, thank you very much. This is my new investment that uh, I ended up getting. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you have any other questions, comment down below. I'll be able to ha happy to answer them for you. I pretty much know uh, everything about the equipment I have compared to other equipment, um, even the 225 trimmer and things like that ever need to ask anything feel free to ask me any questions you have i pretty much know everything about these products so uh, this is all i looked into this is all i still look into so if echo's got something going on more than likely i'm going to know about it or i do know about it shall i say but uh i mean i love their products and so i try to take the time to invest in everything about them so I can make sure that I'm getting the best bang for my buck when I'm out there buying stuff as well to invest in my business. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.